everybody this is Ramon this is the demo on how to create a, create a table um, without the table all you can really do with content on your web page is have it be left aligned or centered and it goes from top to bottom not very exciting if you want to be able to place design elements in specific sections of your page you need to use a table so here is a layout that I created and I want to do this in HTML so the first thing I need to do is I need to figure out what the table is going to look like so what I did was I created um, I created a table or this is a table I plan to create it's a thousand pixels wide by 700 pixels with a column on the left and a column on the right and a row on the top a row in the middle a row on the bottom and I figure and since I know it's a thousand pixels by 700 pixels I also figure out what the inner cells are going to be in terms of measurements so here I have 200 pixels by 100 pixels for this section it's going to contain the logo 800 pixels by 1,000 pixels which can contain the headline and the menu and the content and the copyright area and all this should add up to a thousand and all this should add up to 700 okay um, it's best to to have the measurements down so that you know you're you know exactly what's going on and it's, it's going to come out exactly the way you want it and once you create the table then you can um, plug in the images and the text that you want and then you can uh, hide the border so we're going to do all this on um, on HTML I'm going to do it right now okay so let me close that first line in HTML is HTML right you guys know that then we do the head then we do the title and let's call this Duncan Mushroom. Oh, yeah. Donuts. I'll close the title, which you already know. I'll close the head. And I'll start with the body. And I'll just start table. And I know that my table is width is equal to always make sure you're closing on you're closing your coach you're closing your tags height equals 700 and I want to be able to see my border so border equals one and then I start my first row Begin of the row is TR, I'm going to start my first cell. And this first cell is, what did I say, 200, right? Equals 200 width. And the height is, I believe, was 100. And then my next row, so that's, ooh, I shouldn't have closed the. Uh, let me open it up again. So that was that's this. Ah. That's this. That's that's two hundred by pick one hundred pixels right there. Okay. So I'm gonna do this one next, which is width equals eight hundred, and height is also. 100 so that's this one these two rows so I'm going to close the row I'm going to start a new row I'm going to just copy paste rather than retyping everything my second row except this time my height is 550 see that 550 so I'm going to make the height here 550 And let's do a third row, which is 50. So I'm going to close the table. I'm going to close HTML. 
I save it in the folder. I have a folder for this thing, and I have already have my images there, as you can see. We'll just call this index HTML. And then let's take a look at what it looks like when I drag this into a browser. There you go. So there's my layout. All right. So now I'm going to plug in the content. Right. So for this, oh, you know, look at this. I forgot to close the, 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 um, the cell tags. Silly me. Sorry. Copy the paste, 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 paste. Sometimes it's good to label your cells so that you know if you need to, if, especially if you have a lot of rows and a lot of columns. There you go. So that way you know exactly. If you know you want to put content into this, you look for the two, which is right there. Also, in my other, in my in my layout, I have the bottom cell um, spanning, which is one cell, one combined cell. So let's do that to this cell right here, number five cell. So under number five cell, I will have it say column column span equals. I'm going to have it span across two, and let's see what happens. Oh, it got messed up. You know why? Because I didn't. Because now that that um, that bottom row has one cell, but I I can get rid of this one because it's only supposed to have one cell, one wide cell. I hope that makes sense. If you're going to span across a row or a column, you're obviously not going to have to get rid of the other cells or other other that you don't need anymore because you're combining. So let's take a look at that now. There you go. So now we have one wide cell here that spans and the other two. So now I'm ready to put in my images. So the first one will go here, up here, which is table one. So I will what? Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> Image source equals, and I think it's called um, Duncan. Yeah. And let's see how that looks. Whoa, okay. That happened because I didn't specify. This image is actually larger than I need it. So I'm going to just copy. I'm just going to do a width here so that it fits. I'm not going to do the height because it will automatically calculate the height. There you go. That's what I wanted. Then on cell number two, which is this one, I will say America runs on Duncan. Save it. Let's take a look. There you go. But you know what? I want to center this. So align center, which is another way to do if you're Aligning things in a cell, you can do the align it. Instead of center, you can do an align tag inside the, the, the cell tag. So right there, there's all one tag. So let's see. And remember, and I want to make it bigger. You already know how to do this, but I'll just do it in here anyways. And I know it's, let's say, um, font size equals 6, color equals, what did I use here? Pink, I guess. And face is equals to Arial around. Let's hope that works. And I'm going to close the font tag. See how that works. Okay, Arial round did not work. I guess I'll have to figure that out or pick something else. Okay. 
brown face so it's still not working okay I'm gonna worry not worry about that for now and you know what I didn't like that's not the right pink so what I'll do is I will open this up in Photoshop really quickly and just get that number oh wrong image there you go and if you remember just sample that double click on the palette and there it is there's my hex my HTML uh, web code so now if I go back to this and I'll put in color will be there you go refresh bingo okay and you know what it, I still want it to be bigger than this let's say 12 Okay, I guess that's doable. 15, maybe. Okay, I guess that's as big as you can get. So now we're ready for our, um, let's do the menu next. And I think on my layout I had home, I'm just gonna copy paste all this stuff so I don't have to type everything. And this is gonna be in cell number three, right? So I go to cell number three, Oh shoot, I accidentally hit paste rather than copy. Yikes! There we go, copy. So number three, paste. There you go. And let's see how that looks. Save it. Boom, okay, that's not what I wanted. And I'm sure you guys know why. So we will have to, first of all, align center over here then let's put some paragraph breaks copy well, let's see how that looks okay also we want the size and the font size to be bigger copy so I'm just gonna copy the font tags from up here and, and paste it down here. So it'll be the same except maybe instead of 15, let's do eight, nine. Oh, whoa, 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 that's too big. Maybe four. Maybe five. There you go. And I think I had it like closer to the top, right? So I can do this inside this, the cell tag. Inside the cell tag, I will do a V align, vertical align equals top. I'm not sure if I like that either. So maybe not. Maybe I'll just keep it that way. Now it's time to put in the picture of the donuts. So here, or just four, this is cell four. So over here, we will do an image source equals donuts.jpg. Oh, my tag is backwards. And let's see how that looks. Can anybody predict what's gonna happen? There you go, it's too big, I didn't size it. So I'm going to have to go to width on the image and I think it's, uh, width it's right here, right? Equals 800. And let's see how that looks. Much better. And then I'm going to take all this text, I'm going to put it under there. Oh. Copy that. And I'm going to do a break just in case after the image. Save it. And let's see how that looks. 
Okay, um, I guess the font could be a bit bigger. So let's do a font size equals four. Uh, maybe five. Yeah, there we go. Now I don't like the fact that there's too much. There's there's so close to the picture on the image on the on the, the text so close to the image. So here's a trick I haven't shown you guys. On the image, I will um, do a vertical. I will add in the image tag. I will add something called a V space vertical space equals let's say three pixel four pixels, and that'll give me extra space vertically above and below my image. Okay, you can barely see it, so let's make it six. Okay, 10. There you go, that's the way I like it. And then for the last part um, is this. On the five, on the number four, Five one right here. Copyright. But you know what? I let's see how that looks. Refresh. Oh, it needs. Oh, look at that. It made funny things out of the, out of the 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 um. The apostrophe. So let's turn that into a regular apostrophe. And then it didn't know what to do with the bullet, with this thing here. See, I retyped it. Just that might be enough. Oh, it's still not doing it. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. I mean, I don't. I could look up the symbol for it, the code for that symbol, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh, you know what? I wanted this centered, right? So let's say align equals center. There you go. Oh, and I wanted this actually pink also. Font. So I'll copy all that. I'll add it to this. Except the size will be like two. Let's see. Maybe three. There you go. Oh, and I wanted the menu, uh, I think on here it's orange, right? So let's go back, let's pull that orange color from Photoshop again. So let's sample that orange right there. There's the code. So just for the menu, I will, I will change this to that other color code. And let's see how it looks. Oh, oh. There you go, it's orange. So now I can actually make this zero. There you go. Now here's some other things just for fun. I'm going to center the table. The whole table so above before table I will to do a center tag and what that does is it always makes sure that the table is the layout is centered in my browser All right now watch this what if what if let's see um, what's a nice color to pick I'm gonna choose a color just one just bear with me let's say I'm gonna choose They're the color of donuts, right? This color. I'll take that. Copy. Okay. And I'm going to, in the body code, I'm going to say the background for the whole entire page is going to be that color. Oh, no, 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 sorry. sorry. BG color, BG color, not background. BG color. Equals. So let's see how that looks. Whoa. Okay.
okay, that's a bit much. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say, even though the background for the whole page is, is brown or whatever that is, for the table, I'm going to say BG color equals white, which is FF, FF, FF. So let's see how that looks. There you go. Not bad. Nice. Maybe more space here and up here, but you know, I won't worry about that for now. Okay, so I think that's it for this one. I will also do a demo on, on how to use an image uh, for your, uh, for your uh, portfolio site. How do you do an image as a background and as, an, as a background for the table, as a background for your, for your uh, table, and as just as a plain image, okay? So here you go. So hopefully I'll up that, upload, upload that tonight.